amazing ball oh, that you see at the Hearst Castle yes. or the Vanderbilt Estate or, you know, a beautiful museum. Um, there's a place called Brook Green Gardens that's down in Polly's Island, South Carolina, where we go for uh, summer vacation. And it's uh, the former uh, property and home of a woman who was a very famous sculptress. Okay. And she collected beautiful iron sculpture from all over the world. And it's this huge gardens now that displays that, but also has something that looks like this. This is a full size gazing ball in a beautiful iron container that's done actually in, in steel with an iron stand. Yes. And it's just incredible. You need to get this to complete the look of your garden. Mm -hmm. So we have it for you in a number of colors. The one that's on screen right now, well, we'll just start down here. here we go. This is, is our indigo. The indigo, which is right. a deep, deep, deep like blue. midnight blue, yes. a smidge of purple in there. Right, exactly. Very pretty. Yep. And then we have it for you in this rainbow one that is iridescent. It goes from goldens to pinks. There we go. Uh, to oranges. The, as the more you turn it, the more colors you'll see in that exactly. one. Exactly. And then we have it for you in this gorgeous teal. Mm -hmm. And then down here we have it for you in the red. There's the red one. So the dimension on this is a nine and a half diameter globe, but it's 24 inches high in the stand. And then it comes with a stake that's right. about six inches long. That's going to be underground to make sure this stays upright and doesn't tip over. Right. So you've got this wrought iron stake as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to lift it up and show beautifully this, this gazing ball. Now these are made out of steel and they've been electroplated so that this color is going to stay on. So them. they're not fragile glass not, globes. No. As okay. a matter of fact, I actually did drop mine and if it was glass it would have shattered uh -huh. but it didn't because this is made out of metal and so you don't have to worry about that I've had mine out since November in all kinds of weather this is our rainbow that I'm showing you so you can see all the colors that's why I'm kind of turning around but you can see the reflection right now of the white flowers down below in fact I'll hold the flower up here this is meant so you can see the reflection there. This is meant to reflect the beauty of the garden. Wow. In there. So there you're seeing that. So if you have your rose garden around here, maybe your geraniums or azaleas, it's going to be reflected in the gazing ball. And for hundreds of years, gazing balls have been used in gardens to do just that. Wow. To reflect so the beauty pretty. of the garden, but also to be something beautiful itself. Well, That's, and it's just, it's, it's for you to sit and reflect. Exactly. You, know, you put this in a special spot in your garden where you can sit and gaze upon it at, on a bench or mm -hmm. uh, where it's in the center of a flower, you know, you've got like a, a circular area of flowers around it, or mm -hmm. it can be near a fountain or a water feature. It's just a stunning. And if you yep. want the rainbow one, please hurry because it's very, very popular. All oh, these are really, really a classic mm. design. I mm. love the Plown Hearth brought this. The fact that you're getting the gazing ball and the wrought iron stand is beautiful because mm -hmm. so many times you have to buy them separately. Or they you come on like a pedestal it's that, like cement uh, or yeah, pretty. it's not pretty or yeah. it gets chipped or, or it's something right. that's painted and then you constantly have to maintain it. Uh, this is something that is very, very uh, durable and it's simple, mm -hmm. architectural. I love it. And it's bigger too. than you think. Yep. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to put my face right next right. to this. Hello. Hi. So it's as big as my head. Yep. They're it's good big. size. Yep. So and they're it's beautiful. not a tiny little miniature sort of a you know, sphere thing. Right. It's not small. Mm -hmm. It's really good size, mm -hmm. but it's not something that's overbearing at all. When it fits in your garden, it's going to be elegant. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to reflect the beauty of your garden. But yeah, also, like you is. said, you're going to be able to reflect on it. Wow. Look really at pretty that. made out of metal. So it's, it's like a bowl. It's like the size shiny. of a bowling ball. Yes. It's very, very shiny <laughs> surface and it's made to withstand the elements. Don't yeah. worry about it. Mine and again, this is out. steel. Mm -hmm. It's not glass. It's steel that's been right. electroplated with that. So don't worry about the weather. Shininess. So mm -hmm. so it's not going to. Um, the coating on it is what I'm saying is not going to come off, rub off, right? Chip off. It's meant to be left outdoors. Just stunning. I'm so getting one of these. I don't even care what color. I know each one of them is really, They're really so gorgeous. Pretty. And you know, it's something that is so classic, mm -hmm. you know, in gardening because people have gazing balls mm -hmm. in the English gardens, in gardens mm -hmm. all over. Like you said, you go to the big estates. Mm -hmm. It's something that's very classic in a rose garden or right. anywhere else just to reflect that beauty. Here's our indigo and look at how it's reflected 
collecting. I these love this. Right Can here. I just tell you? So pretty. And it's Thank meant you. to be beautiful during the day with all the yep. sun reflecting on it. But at night, put it near your solar lights or if you've got electrical lights, up lights, have something shining on it. It's absolutely stunning. You know what I did was I tucked the polymer balls underneath mm -hmm. it. So oh, I it's took a great my idea. indigo one and I took the Delft the blue, floral, the set of the, three the floral three balls we showed you earlier. And it, if you look on my Facebook page, mm -hmm. Nancy B for QVC, you'll see it. It's reflecting off of the bottom of the ball. So, so you put those, pretty. so those different spheres and this, a complete look, absolutely beautiful. And like you said, maybe you could shine a light on it. All right. Really cool. Let me focus in on the rainbow one right here for a second because over half of our orders that are being placed are for this one. So, if, Nancy, if you could yep, spin I'll that spin around, around and show everybody, it goes right. from blue to purple to pink to yellow. Stan, how many of these are gone now in total? Over 600 ordered. 400 of them are the rainbow. So, ladies and guys, if you want this one, don't wait. We do have a finite quantity of each color choice. We also have the beautiful teal. Mm -hmm. That would look great if you've got a swimming pool area. Yep, so pretty. Or, or a pond red, near and, a pond. You know, I have a lot of the red and pink sun patients. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gravitating toward that red one. And then I don't know though. I Isn't love it, that midnight looks blue. Looks like a um, deep, deep sapphire. Yeah, that's you know, really if beautiful you've seen too. Like a deep sapphire in a ring or something. That's what it reminds and if me of. If you have a blue and white garden, it might be oh, looking black deep. on the screen, but when you get it home, it's like this really rich, deep, right. bluish see if I purple. I put my pink behind it, and you it's might be able gorgeous. to see it a little bit better. Yes. There you go. They're all see, pretty. You can't go yeah. wrong with any one of them. Right, and they're all made of metal. That's mm -hmm. stainless steel. You've got that electroplating to get that color on there, so that's going to be safe to withstand the elements. A wrought iron stake. Which which we really haven't even talked about the stake. It's what holds the ball in place. And even if it's windy, don't worry. I mean, mm -hmm. I live in a very windy spot and this is right in the corner yeah, in between it's heavy. two houses and the wind just whistles through there. It has stayed put all winter long. Coming down, you've got this beautiful circle right here and it's just really architectural, really beautiful, twisted right here. And then you've got the circle and then the stake makes it very secure in the ground. It's like an H at the bottom. Um, let's say hi to Carol because she's been okay. waiting in California. That means she's up really early. Carol, that's hi, right Carol. From California. Good morning. Hello. Hello. How hi are there. you? I'm very good. I'm so excited to talk to you. I've always wanted one of these beautiful spears in my garden. You're gonna mm -hmm. love this. Mm -hmm. I just and really know mainly you well. because it's in it's in steel. Mm -hmm. I have dogs that prance around my yard and mm -hmm. I've always been fearful of having the glass one. Right. Yeah. Right. And I know. now my Vishla will be able to gazelle through the garden and yes. not have to worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> I know the feeling, Carol, because when my doggies are unleashed into the yard, oh, they kind of go a little kooky crazy running around and they don't care if they bump into things. Right. So correct. Uh, so this one, if it does happen to get knocked out of its place, it's steel. So mm -hmm. if it if it lands in your mulch or your grass, no problem. You're not right. going to have something in smithereens. Right. And the other thing is it's small enough that I can take when we go in our trailer. Yeah, and you put can. It, put mm -hmm. it and set it up and have a pop of color and say, yes, that's that's where we're at. I <laughs> love that idea. Lovely. That's I love that idea, idea as so well. Decorate a little bit yes. while you're camping. Which that's one great. could that's you pick? Right. Which color, Carol? Um, the sapphire. Ooh, oh, this one over here. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes. That yeah. indigo is stunning. And when when you see it out in the sun, it's going to really be sparkly. And right. there's it's very deep blue with just a tinge of maybe some dark purple in yep, there. I agree. Very yeah. pretty. Well, I don't have a green thumb, so um, uh, I have some greenery, but not many flowers, so I always need a little bit of color. Well, plow and hearth to the addition. rescue. And when, <laughs> yeah. I, when I have a spot that I just can't plant one more flower, I put something pretty from plow and hearth in That's that right. corner. Yep. It always I fills the space. I love all of their products. Great. So happy to hear that. And this will give a little bit of height, too, in your garden. Yeah. So that's going to be really Beautiful. nice. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, you're Carol, welcome. thanks for calling. And I'm so jealous that you're in California. You know, that was my home for 20 years. My home, too. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the weather's just been my, beautiful. I know. I, it always is 99% of the time, right? <laughs> Sunny California. <laughs> Carol, thank it you is, for calling. It is. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank and have you, a Carol. lovely summer, okay? Thank you. Take care, Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Enjoy it. So again, red, teal, very popular rainbow. There's only 200 left in the rainbow if you'd like it. And then we also have the beautiful indigo midnight blue and uh, about a thousand, did you say, Stan? Over a thousand now ordered, very popular. Now coming up at the end of the show, remember this is a whole hour of Plow and Hearth. 
we are going to show you these beautiful ceramic hanging lanterns. Oh, another great idea, Nancy. They're so pretty. And again, you've got all those piercings throughout that allow the light to shine through. And uh, we've had people that have ordered uh, multiples of those and then mixed and matched the color of light that's inside, which yeah. I think is a great idea as it well. Is. So definitely so, get at least mm -hmm. a color one and the white one. Mm -hmm. So those are, then you'll have fun. They're coming up. They're really nice yep. and substantial again. Nothing skimpy in this show. No, and all artistic, very yep. artistic. So we're